Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn that how we can calculate Omega reliability in SPSS 29 version. As you know, from 2020, we are using Omega reliability that was introduced by Andrew F. Hayes, and uh, we are not using Cronbag Alpha. And uh, if you are using Cronbag Alpha still now, you can upgrade yourself to Omega reliability. But before moving to the video, if you are new to our channel, please do not forget to subscribe the channel. So let's start with the Omega reliability technique. First of all, if you are a user of 27, 26, 25 version of SPSS or even 28 version, you can download the Omega reliability plugin from Professor Andrew F. Hayes website. So you can mention in Google Professor Hayes Omega and you will get the SPSS, SAS and R macros and code website option and you can click on this one. You will see that if you scroll down, you will find out Omega reliability that was introduced in 2020. Use Omega rather than Cronback Alphas for estimating reliability but this paper was published during COVID-19 pandemic and you can read this paper and uh, you can download the Omega here and uh, you can unzip this omega after downloading it and uh, if you want to install this plugin what you have to do that you can go to extension then in utility then install custom dialog and it will ask you that where is your plugin and you can select the plugin from here and then you can install the that plugin into your SPSS 28, 27 or 26 version. I have already explained this concept that how you can download and install the plugin into your SPSS 27 or 28 version and I will provide the link of that video under the description of this video. You can watch that video and you can see that how you can download and upload the extension into your old version of software. So if you are using SPSS 29 version, you can simply go to analyze option and here you will see that they have already added the reliability analysis Omega option here in the model option. Previously alpha was selected as by default and now you can choose the Omega reliability technique from here. So I am going to calculate the reliability of my one of my scale and the scale is about life satisfaction these are the question okay so here are some of the questions of life satisfaction in most ways my life is close to ideal the condition of my life are excellent i am satisfied with my life so far i have got the important things i want in life if i could live my life again i would change almost nothing these are the five questions and these are measured on Likert scale. I have taken this scale and the data file from Jolie Palant book and uh, we will see that how we can calculate the reliability of this Likert scale through Omega reliability technique. So what we have to do, I am going to select these items. So we have life satisfaction 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can select the control button to select all of them and you can move them to items option. You have to select the omega option here and uh, then you can select the, there is no need to select anything from the statistics option. So I am going to click on the ok button and we will see that there is a summary and reliability statistics and then O item total statistics option here so omega reliability is point triple eight and uh, number of items are five if you want to improve the reliability you can see here which item you can delete and uh, as you know that point seven zero reliability is enough for Cronback alpha similarly mcdonald's alpha reliability is also good if you have if you get the value of point seven zero and above here we have 0 0.70 and above value like it's 0.88. There is no need to delete any other item. 
and if you get low reliability then you can delete with certain kind of justification that why you are deleting some items and you can delete them and improve your reliability of the scale i am going to take another scale who has low reliability and we will see that how we can increase the reliability of our scale if you are going to use omega technique so i am going to take optimism These are six items of the scale. And what are the questions of the scale? Scale A. This is optimism scale. In uncertain times, I usually expect the best. If something can go wrong for me, it will. I am always optimistic about my future. I hardly ever expect things go my way. Overall, I expect more good things to happen to me than bad. I really count on good things happening to me. So, I am going to select optimism and we will see that what's the reliability of this scale one thing which is very important if you want to measure the reliability of your scale you cannot select all of the your questionnaire and put them into your items portion you have to select a scale and item of those scale in one go and after checking the reliability of one scale you can go for another scale like Previously, I have checked the life satisfaction scale liability. Now I am going to check the optimism scale liability. And then, if you, I want to calculate some other scale liability like mastery, I have to select the these items. You cannot put all of your items like mastery and optimism scale in items portion. If and you want to, if you want to say you want to mention that I am going to check the optimism reliability, that would be not optimism reliability. For optimism reliability, you have to select only optimism scale item, not the mastery scale item. So, what I have to do, I am going to select model omega and, and in statistics portion, you can select scale if your item deleted. What does it mean? It will provide you another table which will guide us that which item we can delete to improve the reliability of our scale if we get the low reliability value like less than 0 0.70 value so i'm going to select this option i'm going to click ok here we can see the mcdonald's alpha reliability is 1.2 as you can see life satisfaction are items are also there and i have to remove them and uh, now we can see that liability is not mentioned here and what's the error? Omega cannot be estimated due to negative or zero item covariance. This may be due to the items needing to be reverse code or to violations of model assumption. So what do we have to do? We can see Corona back alpha if I item deleted column. And here we can see optimism 5 has good liability like its liability in positive value. We have to delete optimism 5 because if we delete this item, we can get a reliability in positive value so here we are going to remove optimism 5 so what we get now currently all of the items there is no reliability value but as we can see if we remove optimism 3 we will get 0.359 reliability and if we remove the item 1 we will re receive 0.349 so 0.359 it's a good reliability than 0.349 so i'm going to remove optimism 3 to improve the reliability of my scale and i can see that if i remove item number one then the reliability will jump to the 0.759 so i'm going to remove optimism one and i have to give a strong justification why i am removing these items you can mention like, like these items are not understandable for the respondents or you can mention any other reasons that why you are like sometimes we have to remove the items because the situation or the context is not familiar to the uh, the, the respondent or they could not understand what's the meaning of certain word in that case they are giving the answer and ultimately the response is not good and ultimately their liability is value is not good so what we have to do now we are going to click on the ok button 
and as you we can see the mcdonald's alpha reliability now jumps up to the 0.758 which is the good reliability so there is no need to remove any other option or any other item so we will keep these three items for our analysis rest of the items has been deleted due to their low reliability so this is the procedure to check the mcdonald's alpha in spss if you are using spss 29 version i hope you have liked this video please do not forget to subscribe the button and keep watching the videos thank you